fuck this traffic. There's people here that are nothing more than a bunch of piss licking shit kickers swimming a lot of diarrhea drip. take a different route up here. <laughs> fucking asshole. Driving with mortal hellion. This is what it's like. Ah, these people. Christ on the pogo stick. That's all I can say. Now, let's go see if I can play some music. Find some good Good old classic music. All right, let's play some music here then. Let's try this. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? There's no music. It's fucking, there's nothing's coming out. I just want to play some. Oh you. Yeah. <laughs> job making that one. Hey, those... I didn't make those. I think a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills made those. Holy fuck! It's God! And you're dead. What the hell? I'm just, um, driving and minding my own business and... Oh. I remember it now. Hey, there's not a whole lot here in heaven. It's just a bunch of clouds and uh, it's not any, any uh, naked Asian woman here. It's kind of boring here. You get used to it. You don't get a harp? Maybe. In another millennium or two. You have to get a special package for that. Well, I always thought you were some kind of asshole. Since I'm not going to go anywhere soon, I got some questions I want to ask you. Uh, you. You call me an asshole and now you want to ask me some questions? Well, I do have time. Go ahead. Why do you take good people like uh, Ricardo Montepon and Leslie Nielsen and leave shitbags like Rush Limbaugh for us? Well, I like good people. Leslie is hilarious. And as for Ricardo, well, he's one hot, tawny slab of Latin man. Anyway, why would I want Rush Limbaugh here stinking up the place? This is heaven, not New Jersey. No, you, you're just one selfish old toad that wants to keep all his, the good people to himself. i got another question for you. Why is it the Bible says that the earth is 6,000 years old? How do you explain that one? Fucker. Fucker. Fucker? Fine. That's 6,000 God years, not 6,000 human years. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. And furthermore, why are there no dinosaurs in the Bible? I thought you knew everything. Well, I don't know everything. I know a lot of things, not everything. That's, that's just PR hype. And as for the dinosaurs, they were assholes. Why should I give them any more attention than they wanted? For Christ's sake, these things were 50 feet high, and I'm supposed to say, Oh yeah, by the way, 50 foot lizards in the Bible. No, fuck them. Fuck the dinosaurs. They're all in fucking hell now. 
I like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs make awesome pets. Remember the rain corn? I got another question for you. Why is it people like Bill Donahue worship you? Bill Donahue, uh, well, yeah, okay, I created him. But, you know, I gave you guys all free will, so I can't control when you run off and become idiots. I, you know, and I can't control who worships me either. Look, I am worth worshiping. But when I get lunatics like that, sometimes they make even me wonder if I exist. Oh, yeah? Well, you're such a dickhead to your son Jesus for leaving him on the cross. How do you explain yourself as a father figure? Jesus was a, a bit of a masochist. Uh, to put it as mildly as possible, he had uh, daddy issues. How else do you explain him trying to claim that he's himself and me all at the same time? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a jam session with Jimmy, Janice, and Jim Croce. Hey! Where the fuck do you think you're going? You know what? I think you're a fake. You're not even, you're not even wearing a beard. What the fuck? What did I tell you about PR? That's just public relations hyperbole. I shaved it off a long time ago. Oh, and by the way, Moses? Doesn't look a thing like Charlton Heston. A lot shorter. That's it! You're a deadbeat Dan, you're a lousy media relations manager. This, this is what I think of you. You're a world class asshole. Holy balls on crutches! Jesus, Mary and Joseph. What the hell did you get a boot? That's nothing compared to the boot. I'm going to shut up your ass. I'm God, motherfucker. Bring it on! I'm sending you away, man. Hey, Satan! You want this, Jamook? No, no, fuck that, I'm busy. <laughs> Boom bath! Shut the fuck up, Toppy. I don't want to be discussing the Bible with you ass clowns. I feel like I'm in Bible school. The Bible is good for one thing, though. Paperweight. And here's another thing. It was all kinds of things I'd rather be doing than reading the fucking Bible again. God damn it, I wrote the Bible! Well, I don't want you around here. You're a nuisance. So just get in the way. I'm gonna send you back to Earth to deal with the bullshit from all the YouTube fucksticks you're so fond of playing around with. Unlimited power! Huh. I'm back. What about my car? Hmm. Bless you, child. What? Oh, sorry. Accidents happen. You suck! Long as he's son of a bitch. And he doesn't look anything like George Burns.
You sure about that, fuckface? You ever hear of hangers? I just wanted to point out a lot of the misleading information regarding the, the, the Bible and uh, the worshiping that goes along with it. There's a lot in the Bible that can be taken with a grain of salt. But it shouldn't be used as the only tool for values and morals. Any civilized person knows well enough that you should not kill or steal. That's just common sense. But the Bible is so filled with many fairy tale stories and enough plot holes to give an editor an editing nightmare. Just be a good person and you do all right. And you will be remembered for all the, the good things you said and done. Maybe you don't need to follow everything God said in the book. Maybe God's just a, a fucking dick. <laughs>